Today, Obama will attempt to bring health care reform one step forward, and he will do it through a summit which many know will be an act of political theater. There's one woman who hasn't been engaging in any political theater. Uh, with the courage of her convictions, she has been acting independently and collaboratively with other individuals who believe that the right way to go is real health care reform for all. Here's the thing. We're going to do all these negotiations on C-SPAN. So the American people will be able to watch these negotiations. So if, if they see, if they start seeing a member of Congress who is carrying the water for the drug companies instead of for their constituents and says, oh, you know, uh, we can't negotiate for the cheapest available price on drugs because the drug companies need these profits to reinvest in research and development. I'll say, okay, well, let me bring my health care expert in here. And on TV, we'll ask my health care expert. The solution is Medicare for all. Medicare for all. Medicare for all. The Senate has moved us closer to reform that makes a tremendous difference for families, for seniors, for businesses, and for the country as a whole. Some of the problems that we're facing. Medicare for all. There you go. Yeah. yeah. Partisanship blocked that step. But some of you read about this. You didn't even include uh, us. There, there were seven people who were co-sponsors of. Stop this. supporting this phony act of health care reform. Stop letting those on Capitol Hill play games with your health care, the, the care that you deserve, and start to think about what it really means to have health care as a human right and join forces with people like Margaret Flowers for real health care reform now.